Okay, I got a problem. What I've been doing is I'll be minding my business, working right here, you know, soldering something really intricate, what have you, and somebody walks through the door. And usually I have the music up really loud and I can't I can't hear nobody walk through and they startle me so I burn myself with a soldering iron or whatever. So what I've done is I've taken two button switches. I don't know if you could see them right there. And one of them is normally open. I got it wired so one of them is normally open and one of them is normally closed and a two pair of wire which I suggest you use it's neat or not as messy just ran it across a raptor and excuse the bright light and it down the beam behind this sign and underneath here and this is the brains what we have here is a 9 volt of course and I picked this up at Radio Shack it's a uh, 3 to 28 volt high low buzzer and this I think is a 670 microfarad capacitor the 200 volt that I got out of a, an old power supply and the bigger you know the bigger the, the bigger the uh, number on the microfarads the longer it takes to discharge and the reason why I put the capacitor under there is I wanted it to not go off all the time when the doors open so I hooked it to where when the door is closed it's charging the capacitor when the door opens, it cuts the battery and lets the capacitor drain into that. And it runs for, I don't know, probably four or five seconds when the door is open and shuts up. So it's not so annoying. So, I'll give it a little test run and let you hear it. Contact. And somebody opens. And as you can see, it's it's a really simple design for a little alarm. Uh, comment on it if you uh, have any questions.